Hey, it's Steve. I added a chain. Got this pinion mounted in here. Yesterday, came to the realization that maybe my use of the term Captain Kirk is drawing some movie viewers. I don't mean to do that. I'm... I'd call this Captain Kirk's gearbox because I really think I am going where no man has gone before. If you're interested in the movies, this ain't the place to be. But if you want to know how to generate electricity and play with magnetic fields, stick around. I think I can show you a way to uh, possibly create a bit of a torqueless input gearbox. So you can make some electricity if you ever desire to. I apologize if I brought you here because of my titles. Anyways, enough of that. If you've been here before, I talked about uh, multiplying the fields of flux and generating electricity. If you're using magnets, you know, pretend north and south, whatever. What took 30 degrees over here, we can do immediately right here in the center. I'm going to be moving this thing with some water wheels. So if you pretend this piece of pipe is going to be driving it, i got to make a crankshaft. i got some issues going on here with the tension on my chain, but uh, if I move this thing... As it's moving, now there's an attracting force going on right here. I'm, I'm just thinking to myself here, and I hope you don't mind sharing some of my time with me. I won't be here long. i got to get outside. It's sunny. This pinion is going to be fighting the rotation, and that... That is definitely not something you want. So your input is going to be undergoing some torque. But as the wind or the water overcomes it, it's going to last about this much time right here. This wow, Steve. The repelling forces between these magnets at some point are going to start rotating your uh, your pinion and you know it's easy in a gearbox to rotate the pinion that's how you get torque out of a gearbox and get it to do work so as these magnets start rotating this pinion somewhere around right in here you're going to be at zero magnetically so when we position the coils, we need to be zero electrically. You know, we need to have that magnet centered in our coil at the same time that this is floating on a bit of like a, like a magnetic bearing. And then once that coil is being, is covered by the maximum amount of flux, between these two magnets right here and experiences the maximum amount of repulsion this pinion gear right here as we continue to rotate at some point now we start fighting the attracting force this is going to be moving away but if we can time this right and we can get this to occur at the exact same time we can use the pinion, the magnetic fields that are being generated by this pinion to overcome the magnetic fields that are being gener you know, cre causing the input to slow down on these wheels. That's what I'm thinking. It's just some of my random thoughts. Man, I don't, I don't know if, uh, you know, we're not actually cutting the flux field anymore. If you lay them in here like this, you're cutting the fields of flux. Here they're going to be expanding and contracting. We're not, con we're not cutting them anymore. I don't, 
man, I don't know what kind of electricity we're going to get out of this thing, but uh, I set out to show how to double the flux. I don't know if this works or not, but uh, you got to admit, every 30 degrees I get a sine wave out of this thing. And in a traditional manner, it took 60 degrees to do what this one is doing in 30. I'm going to have to purchase an oscilloscope, mount a coil of wire in here. I know everybody's waiting on magnets and wire, but man, I, I'm waiting on uh, my my knowledge, my abilities. I'm I'm hanging in there and I'm trying. I gotta I gotta get a little bit more chain. I got one more thought because I'm thinking right. If you look at this. I'm feeling repulsion right here, here, and here, and at some point it's going to be neutral. Right there I'm neutral, but once I get past center, now it's going to be attraction. I hope I ain't repeating myself, but this pinion is going to help. This, this pinion is going to the magnetic forces are going to help rotate your wind generator or your water wheel. And it's going to take you to about right here. You, you'll end up with a no load condition. And then your water wheel, the momentum, the flywheel will be converted and become the input of the gearbox. Not rather than the output, the flywheel will become the input of the gearbox. And hopefully it can break us past this point. It'll take us right to about right there. And then these fields, are, will, it's easy to separate them if you're moving sideways, right? You separate these neodymium magnets by slipping them apart from each other. I don't know. I'm making all this up. Anyways. Take a minute and think about this. And what, you know, what's going to happen? We'll get these issues solved. And, uh, I got some intentional, uh, errors in here some some are not intentional but this thing should just float everybody should just get along and float i got another sprocket over here i intend to mount him right here get on there as soon as i get some longer or some more chain I'm going to run this chain around the outside and I'm going to go across the top of this spindle and back around and we'll see what happens with these simulated magnets if we rotate this the opposite direction of the inputs. I think what we'll do is create an, a non-stop, never-ending attracting field. I don't know, I'm just uh, sharing some of the things I've been thinking about and working on. If you got any suggestions, if you know what's going to happen, man, let me know. Like I said, we can put another one out here or two more. We can have a... Uh, wait, man, I can do whatever you want me to do. I got a smithy machine, some scrap metal. I got some part numbers wrote down here to order some stuff from McMaster Car so I can get some metal in here. We'll get them magnets mounted in there. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just see what's going on. Seems like the world of, uh, 
alternative energy has run out of subject matter if you get on YouTube. You, everybody did it all years ago. I think it's time we reinvigorate the conversation. Anyways, I hope I didn't uh, annoy you too much. If it's a beautiful day where you're living, get outside, quit watching YouTube. This stuff can wait. Alright, hope I, uh, hope I interested you a little bit and I hope you come back. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.